Hey y'all, Josh here. I know what you're doing, but I can't, I can't yes and you here. I don't know what else to add. That's it, that's the opening. Yeah, like. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Carnival Games on the Wii. Josh, I can tell Josh has been watching a lot of Scott the Waz. Because I have too. I didn't watch the thing that uh, Cyrax told me to watch, though. I didn't either. I started, it was 30 minutes long, and I was like, okay, I'll get back to that. I tend not to listen to what he says. <laughs> you dead, son! We do need to get Rabid Luigi a new... Yeah, fuck it. Get him a new hat. We were just talking about Zelda games. And how, uh... We never played a 2D Zelda. We've only finished one. <laughs> we've only finished one... Well, we finished two 3D Zeldas, I guess. Both the N64 ones. Yeah, I guess you could say one and a half because one was, like, kind of... Hacked around. Because it was a... Randomizer. Yeah. What would y'all think of us playing... Oracle of Ages and or Seasons. Ooh, I've never played those. They are splendid games. I've got Link's Awakening on the Switch. I don't care. I know you don't. I, I did not say Link's Awakening. And if, and if we played Link's Awakening, I would bring my Super Game Boy over and play the old black and white version. You don't have DX, you fucking cheapskate? I don't have it. I swear to God, I gave you my old copy of DX. That wasn't DX. It wasn't DX? Yeah, no. Oh my god. Besides, even if it was, I couldn't play it on Super... Well, I could play it on GameCube. Actually, But that's my copy of Link's Awakening. The one that says Hunter on the back of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was uh, Hunter Long's. Yeah, Hunter Long. But we kept it. <laughs> did he give it to you or did you steal it? Uh, I don't remember. Or did he leave it at your house? Probably left it at our house. Watch this. Look how much movement you get in this fucking game. Will you hear that, Hunter Long? It's mine now. So much. Oh, it's Zuko in the litter box. Of course it's fucking Zuko in the litter box. He's always pooping. No, he just doesn't know how to fucking get out of a litter box. <laughs> he'll be in there all fucking day. And he'll kick the litter out. Like a dumb little bitch. Why do you hate your cats so much? I love my cats. They're just stupid. <laughs> And I know they are, because they're my cats. What do you right, think it would feel like boom. to be inside one of those giant flower trumpets? Boom. Do you okay. think it would tickle your butt when they when they go brr? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be quiet with my glass. My glass is being put into a metal cup holder that's one foot away from the microphone. Neat. Bet you can't do that in XCOM. No, honey. It'd be cool if you could. Watch, he's gonna boot me. No, he's just gonna shoot me. Oh, he's... okay. He went for the shoot and scoop? Apparently. Oracle of Seasons is more combat-oriented. While Oracle of Ages <laughs> is the blue one. It's more puzzle-oriented. I, I wanted to say that earlier, but I didn't. So okay. I had to get it out of the way. I feel like if I... No, Zuko, you... Stop it. If, if I wanted to play one, I'd want to play one that doesn't look like ass. They don't look like ass? Don't they? they look, they're Game Boy Color. They look great. They got color. Well, I was going to suggest, like, Minish Cap or something. Nope. Because I played Minish Cap pretty recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's off the table, Josh. No, you'll like it. It It's a very... It's... It... Fuck him up. Cat's fighting. Um... I, I think... I think the Oracle games... And Link's Awakening hold up graphically. I mean, you know, they're pixely. They're Game Boy games. 
But they don't look that garbage. They age well. There's a dug in that pool. There's a big shitter. <laughs> it it merged with Bowsette. I see. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. Hmm. Just stealing stuff from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I see how it is. Already running out of ideas. Great what part Kirko. of Ocarina of Time was this? The Fire Temple. Oh, right. <gasps> That's what Grant Kirkhope does. He just steals from everything. And he's the one that made this I, game. I don't think you fucking talk about me like that ginger minch. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong on two counts, Grant. <laughs> what if Grant Kirkhope was just here? <laughs> like, he, he just he just goes around. After the Game Grumps thing, he just goes around to random Let's Players' houses I mean, to try to maintain relevance. Hey, you know, that's how the Game Grumps thing started. They were like, man, I would love if Grant Kirk was on was on the show. That never happened, though. And then eventually it happened. Oh, and, then, shit. and then John was like, all right, I'm done. I got my dream. Which was to meet Grant Kirk Hope. <gasps> what the fuck? Where's the eighth? I did like his Kid Nation video. I thought that one was a little better than his what was other recent ones. Yeah, I liked him meeting with the kid. That was... Yeah. And you know, do you remember that, Kid Nation? No, not really. Because I remember that. I, I don't know if I ever actually saw a whole episode. I think I saw it like a little bit while I was on TV. Hey, gold chest. Oh, look, I wonder what's inside. Maybe a gun? Maybe a hat? It's maybe, not gonna be a hat. Maybe a... It's gonna be a gun. Maybe a selfie. It's a gun! Oh, that doesn't look like any gun I've ever seen. That looks like a piece of land. It doesn't look like... It, it, it shows the battle HQ. I see. We should play a way out. Oh, wait, is that the prison game with the man with the big nose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go? Fuck. I went to Florida. Yeah. Josh didn't. Yeah, because nobody fucking told me until like two weeks before you guys were going. I mean, that's the same for me, kind of, but... Matt said he knew about it, like... No! You you knew about it a long time before, because you saved your stimulus check for it! No, I saved my stimulus check for a Switch. And let me tell you something, I depleted the very last of my fucking stimulus check on that trip. Matt said he knew about it for months. I They may have mentioned it, but I may have forgotten about it. I originally wasn't invited, they just didn't invite me at first, and then I was like... I said something about it, and they were like, oh, you're going too? But I think they assumed they didn't want to go because I don't like sand. And I swear to God, I'm sick of saying that, and having people butt in... I, I, I didn't say it because I figured. I know, I know, I was waiting for you to do it, and I'm glad that you didn't. With the fucking Star Wars meme. I think that I think that quote has been like spread around and made popular by the sand industry just to just so people will like hesitate before saying they don't like sand because that's that gives the, that gives big sand bad rep. And I know they're very Florida is very proud of their sand. They have nothing else. Not that's really. The, that's their only claim to fame is their sugar white sand. We're going uh, in September, I think. I got stung by jellyfish. Ooh. We all did. Yeah, well, Manson was like double red flag like the entire time. Yeah, like the last three days it was double red flags. Um, but like the second, we swam there. We swam in the ocean once, twice. 
the second day we did it was when the jellyfish were starting to uh to that's a purple flag isn't it well i mean i don't think they put a purple flag if there's just some jellyfish there was only a few i think that's i don't know i don't know if, i don't know if jellyfish warrants a purple flag unless there's like an a flood of them or what Purple flag meaning marine wildlife, if y'all don't know. Double red flag meaning get out of here. You will be shot on sight if you approach the beach. And yellow meaning it's a little choppy, but you'll be fine. Some I didn't know, uh, double red flag, uh, surfers can go out on double red flags. As long as they're attached to their boards. How odd. I mean... When you think about it, not really. I mean, that's what the surfers want. They want the big barrels. You go down... Whoop! <laughs> and, you know, we don't want the surfers to riot. But it was fun. Spent a lot of money. Got a nice big Airbnb house to ourselves. I think that's it, right? I wasn't paying attention. I was busy talking about the ocean. <laughs> Damn it. What's your opinion on the ocean and the beach? Uh, my opinion has changed now that I'm an adult. Oh yeah? Uh, I used to not like the beach and I liked to go in the ocean. Now I like the beach and I don't want to go in the ocean. Wow. I like just sitting on the on the beach, getting drunk. I don't like touching the beach. I, 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 can... I think the issue, right, of getting on the beach is that if you go in the water, you're going to get sand even more all over you, right? Yeah. So if you just go and sit on the beach... Oh, you crit. Cool. You, um... You're not going to get as sandy. You just go sit on the beach and get drunk a little bit. Where the fuck? Who's? Oh. But I don't like the sun. And the sun is amplified out there. Uh, that's why you get an umbrella. We the, did. We had umbrellas, but still. The uh, time that Chandler and I went out there for like a day. Um, we. That's when I discovered my love of the beach. And just sitting there getting day drunk and watching the ocean. But I'm a I'm a boomer. So Yeah, you're one of those people that can just look at a horizon and be like, wow, I can sit here for hours yeah. and watch it because the ocean is so entertaining. I mean it's not that, it's just I, I close my eyes, listen to music, and drink. You could do that here. But it's more relaxing at the beach because there's the ocean. Because it, it costs good. money to get over there. Because it feels good. I don't get it. I used to love the beach when I was a when I was a wee little lad. I played in the sand, played in the ocean, went snorkeling. Hey, look, it's Luigi. actual Luigi. That noise, that noise when he popped up, that was the Paper Mario jump sound. Sixty-four. No. I want to play Paper Mario 64. That would be good. I don't know. Can we do that? What, play one of the only two good Paper Mario games? Two and a half? We started on Super. We got pretty far into Super. Yeah. But then we tried it again, and then we died at a part that's really annoying, and I said, I don't want to do this ever again. <laughs> it's the fucking samurai part, like where you have to fight all the hundred, oh, yeah, hundred right. dudes. You don't have to fight a hundred dudes. Uh, we're going to own a mini boss, and we'll do that next time on Super Paper Mario. Ah, we're never going to go back to that. We're ne don't, don't expect it.